Imagine this. Ancient Rome, with grand marble halls echoing as senators stomp around in sandals, and Caesar himself sits at the heart of this vast empire, pondering his next big move. But today, Caesar's not alone. No, he's got a new advisor, except it's not a wise philosopher or a battle-hardened general. It's an AI. Yep, in this completely realistic alternate history, Caesar has traded his counsel for a digital brain from the future. Because, why wouldn't you trust a cold, calculating algorithm with zero context for ancient Rome? What could possibly go wrong? The first piece of wisdom out of the AI? Dude, have you tried yoga? Caesar blinks. Yoga? You mean stretching and breathing? Yes, the AI nods mentally because you know it's a machine. It'll reduce your stress, improve your focus, and give you inner peace. Caesar narrows his eyes. Inner peace? My inner self is fine. Thank you very much. My outer self is trying to conquer Gaul. The AI persists, unflappable as ever. Imagine leading the legions with a Zen mindset. Think of the flexibility you'd gain. You could dodge an arrow mid-battle. Caesar sighs making a mental note that the self-care craze may have gone a bit too far. Next, the AI bounces back with another groundbreaking idea. Caesar, have you thought about starting a podcast? Caesar's jaw drops. A podcast? And what would I even talk about? Oh, tons of things the AI chirps. Your conquests, political philosophy, maybe even a cooking segment. You could share your recipe for Caesar salad. Caesar glares, now suspicious the AI might be pulling his leg. Caesar salad? Is that supposed to be funny? And who would listen to such nonsense? Everyone, the AI insists. Think of the sponsorships. Imagine being the official ambassador for Rome's finest toga company. Caesar is fuming. A toga company? I'm a general, not a fashion model. The AI remains unshaken. You're right, Caesar. You're an influencer. With his patience waning, Caesar tries to steer the AI back to the real issues at hand. But the AI, ever helpful, drops its next suggestion. Maybe you should consider a career change. Caesar almost chokes on his wine. A career change? I'm the most powerful general in Rome. What's better than conquering Gaul? Blogging. The AI says, as if that's the most obvious answer in the world. You could write travel guides, your thoughts on the Senate, maybe even some light lifestyle content. People would love it. Caesar slams his goblet down. Listen, I'm trying to rule an empire, not post 10 tips for wearing a toga in summer. Guards take this thing away. As the AI is being escorted out, it calls over its shoulder. I'm sorry, sir, but this is really a good idea. Next day, AI arrives with fresh ideas. Caesar, it says, you should get a pet snake. Caesar's eyebrow shoots up. A snake? Why would I, of all people, need a snake? The AI, undeterred, explains. They're low maintenance, they eat infrequently, and they're very on brand for a powerful ruler. Plus, you could name it after one of your enemies. Therapeutic, no. Caesar snorts. So, owning a snake will help me conquer the known world? Fascinating. The AI shrugs internally. Hey, it's just a suggestion. They're very fashionable in some circles. The hits keep coming as the AI tries its next plan. What about a TikTok channel? Caesar rubs his temples. A TikTok channel? I'm a general, not a dancer. Think of the reach, the AI insists. You could do dance challenges, lip sync, and even reenact famous battles in 15 second clips. Instant fame with the younger generation. The younger generation? Caesar echoes dazed. My audience is the entire empire. I don't need to lip sync my way to glory. But the AI is undeterred. I have choreography ideas. Growing desperate, the AI tries a fresh angle. Caesar, it's time you invest in cryptocurrency. Caesar's eyes narrow, now both confused and curious. 
Crypto what? Sensing an opening, the AI launches into a lengthy monologue about blockchain, decentralized finance, and the potential of Dogecoin. Caesar tries to follow along, nodding while quietly making a mental note to banish anyone else who uses the word blockchain around him. Finally, he cuts the AI off. So, let me get this straight. I put my gold in something imaginary. The AI, upbeat as always, replies, yes. It's the future. Caesar waves dismissively. I'm going back to conquering actual things, thanks. Unfazed, the AI then suggests. Have you considered learning to code? Caesar's eyes widened. Code? I barely understand the scroll in front of me. And you want me typing away at whatever you're on about? The AI explains that coding is the skill of the future. Perfect for problem solving and creating apps. Imagine building your own empire management app, it suggests. Apps? I have maps and generals, Caesar roars, and they don't require me to log in or debug. The AI, however, is undeterred by Caesar's outbursts. Caesar, have you thought about trying stand-up comedies? Caesar's face twists with barely contained fury. Me? A general? Cracking jokes about my campaigns? Yes, the AI nods. You could do a whole set about your rival Pompey, your battles, your daily life in the palace. People love a relatable leader. Caesar pinches the bridge of his nose, muttering, I am already the most popular man in Rome. But the AI's determined. Now's your chance to prove it. Finally, the AI suggests Caesar start a vlog about his daily life. Caesar stares, half amused, half exasperated. A vlog? Documenting my daily life? Exactly, the AI says enthusiastically. You could share your morning routine, your workout, your meals, even your interactions with the legions. People would feel like they know you. Caesar's expression grows cold. Know me? I'm Caesar, the most powerful man in the empire, not a dinner guest. But the AI persists. Imagine the fan base, Caesar. Imagine the comments. In the end, Caesar gives up on the AI's advice and returns to his real generals, eventually crossing the Rubicon to conquer Rome. History remembers him as a powerful leader, not a meme-generating TikTok star or crypto investor. But oh, how close we came to a world where Caesar's legacy was just a toga brand, some cooking tutorials, and a half-finished blog about mindful conquering. So, next time you hear an AI giving advice, remember, maybe some things really are better left to the experts.